today with a video giving you a full food overview of Sandals Royal Curacao. We were just there a couple months ago and mm -hmm. then they're excited to summarize everything you need to know about dining at the resort. In case you wanna see the resort in detail, we did put out a full resort tour and we'll link that in the description below. But before we jump into the video, I did want to mention I am a travel agent. I work with Sandals quite a bit. So if you are interested in traveling to Sandals Royal Curacao or any of the Sandals properties, my contact information is in the video description below. And by the way, it is completely free to work with a travel agent. So to sum up dining at Sandals Royal Curacao, we have eight restaurants in total, seven of which are brand new dining concepts for Sandals, which is a pretty big deal. Yep. We have three food trucks. Yep. Then there's also room service in room dining for right. those in club and butler level rooms. They are also doing this new thing called island exclusive dining, which gives all guests staying in a butler level room a credit to use at some of the local restaurants on the island, which is very unique. That's cool. And then lastly, 13 bars on property. So let's get into the specifics of the restaurants. Like we said, there are eight restaurants on property and for each of which, we're gonna provide a little bit of detail on when it's open, what, what the dress code is, and a little bit of the type of cuisine they have there. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with Aulos, mm -hmm. which is the open air Mediterranean restaurant at the resort. It is open for breakfast and dinner. It is resort casual attire, meaning you can be in your bathing suit and a cover up in flip flops. And reservations are not required at this restaurant. So you can just walk up and get a table. We ate at Alos a couple times, had breakfast and dinner there, had some great meals. And uh, one of our servers told us that Alos means God of the wind. And they named it Alos because of that and the dishes will blow you away. <laughs> as they said. So the food the food there yeah. is pretty good. And that view. Yeah. It had a wonderful ocean view. So get there early and you'll get like the first few tables. Yep. Um with the with the awesome view. So for breakfast you can expect blue mountain coffee. Yep. The best. Fruit plates, pastry baskets, different egg dishes, eggs benedict, yeah. pancakes, you know, typical breakfast fare. So if you've been to a Sandals before, you'll probably know that breakfast is kind of the same regardless of which restaurant yeah. you go to. It's fine, it's completely good to eat and tasty. It's just nothing that's gonna, I think, overly impress anybody. Right, right, but like does breakfast food ever really impress anybody? Depend, but, depends yeah. on where you go, but again, not a bad meal. Yeah. Then for dinner, I mean, again, it's Mediterranean cuisine. Yeah. So we had um, Spanakopita. Yep. There you have charcuterie boards. Um, you got like a Mediterranean wedge salad. Yep. And we can't rate the entrees here because we actually got a special order mm -hmm. dinner um, since at the time, Butch's hadn't opened. And so they said we could order something off the butch's menu. So like they made us steaks. So that's not an Aulos dish. So, right. so we won't really rate that or anything. And for context, butch's is the steakhouse that's on property. We'll it wasn't there. open at the time that we ate at Aulos. So we got a little sneak peek of the menu, like Jenna said. Right, we weren't sure when butch's was gonna open, but spoiler alert, it opened the next night and we went. But, yeah. <laughs> but yes, we didn't know if it was gonna be open when we were there. So they did this for us, which was, and for all guests for yeah. that matter, who had asked for it. But we did get dessert at Aulos. We got mm -hmm. a flourless chocolate tart, mm -hmm. which was very good. Yep. And espresso martinis aren't bad there either. Not bad. Next up, let's talk about Butch's. We're going in alphabetical order in case you can't <laughs> tell. Butch's Steakhouse, it is a fan favorite restaurant. It is the only repeat restaurant at this resort. Everything else, as we said, is a brand new dining concept. Butch's is open for breakfast and dinner and it does require reservation. So get that booked on your first day yep. that you're on, on property. And it is for dinner, um, resort evening attire meaning for the the rules for women are not super strict but for gentlemen they have to be in long pants they cannot be in shorts jeans are fine but long pants and they need to be in closed toed shoes so on your sandals vacation pack a pair of jeans pack a pair of boat shoes or some sort of dress shoe polos are fine button downs are fine just something with a collar yep so we did not get to eat breakfast at butch's but 
An example of what they have on the menu is steak and eggs, it's a steakhouse, uh, the prime rib and hash also seems to be a crowd favorite, so stuff like that. And as we mentioned earlier, we got to go to a, a soft opening for Butch's. So yep. we were like one of like five tables in yeah. the restaurant. So when we got there, we started with some cocktails and I have to shout out Sharifa who made the best Cosmopolitan <laughs> of my life, hands down. And she said that is her favorite cocktail and she has spent so much time perfecting that recipe. So if you like Cosmos and you're going to Butch's, ask for a Cosmo from Sharifa. So for dinner, we had a great meal. It didn't really feel like a soft opening, which is a nice testament to yep. the, the great staff there and the food overall. Uh, but for example, we had, uh, there was a clam chowder appetizer that we had, a crispy goat cheese salad, grilled black pepper bacon, which is more of just like a... Almost like pork belly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was looking yeah. for, pork belly, yep. And then for entrees, uh, Chef Surf and Turf. The signature dish is a pink roasted aged prime rib of beef. And then steakhouses have great sides as well. So there's some Parmesan truffle fries and homemade mashed potatoes. Food over there overall was really good. Yes, and we ordered every single dessert on the menu. All three of them, which was a chocolate sin pie, a Willy Wonka brulee, and a warm apple slice. We normally wouldn't have ordered the apple right. one, and that actually turned out to be our favorite. Was, so save some room and, and get all three because they were pretty amazing. So for the next restaurant, we have Gatsu Gatsu, which is the sushi restaurant at the resort. It is open for dinner, resort casual attire, reservations are not required. We went there after Alos for second dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andy's not a big fan of sushi, but I, I wanted to try it. So I ate a little bit lighter and then went and ordered some sushi. So I actually tried their signature cocktail, which is made with uh, sake and it's a beautiful drink and it's very good. So highly recommend that. And I also got the crispy spicy tuna roll and the crispy Philly roll. But if you like sushi, you definitely need to stop at Gatsu Gatsu. And we had a wonderful server there, Stania. She was great. She recognized us from our videos. So great to meet you, Stania. And, and thank you so much for helping us have a great vacation. So next up we have Canal, which is a Dutch coffee place by day and a wine and cheese bar by night. Yeah, I like how they acknowledge the Netherlands Antilles in connection to yes. the, Ante the Netherlands. Right, so there's no Cafe de Paris like there are many sandals, it's Canal. Yeah. It is open most of the day because it's a coffee shop and then it's open at night for wine and cheese. It is resort casual, no reservations are required, just come and go as you please. This was not open when we were there. Yep. Which was a huge bummer, especially as people who like really only drink iced coffee. And that, that's here and over there. It, it, it sounds very snobby, but also when you're in like the summer Caribbean hot. Yeah, I, like I just wanted a nice latte. Yeah. So that was a bit of a bummer, but it opens maybe a couple weeks after we got home. Yeah. Um, but people say it is wonderful. You can get all your fancy coffees. They have pastries all throughout the day. And then obviously wine and cheese bar and little charcuterie boards at night and everything. So a great unique offering, but we just didn't get to try it. So next up we have Pietra, which is the Italian restaurant. It is open for breakfast, lunch, dinner and late night. Yeah. <laughs> it is resort casual and no reservations are required. Makes sense. It's in a central location on the resort. It's very easy to yes, get to. Yes, right so. by the main pool. But we actually ate there for every single meal. <laughs> With the exception of late night. With the exception of late night, which we weren't even sure if they were doing it when we were there. Yeah. We like walked by, it didn't look like they were, but that could just be because it was new when we went. Yeah. It says it on the app, so right. I'm assuming it actually is accurate. Yeah. But for breakfast, it is the typical Sandals buffet breakfast. Yep. You have all of your hot stations, stuff that's already pre-cooked and in those- um, Warmers. In the warmers, and then they have an omelet station. They had like a smoothie and fresh juice bar, that which was is nice. great. Yeah. And then they have servers who come around to get you your coffee and water and mimosas and, and whatnot. But it's your typical sandals 
buffet breakfast. So for lunch, you have two options. You have a uh, artisanal pizza menu. So your typical mm -hmm. pizzas, personal size, those are really good. Um, and you also have Trattoria 30, which is um, a more, um, a, a little bit of a larger men uh, menu with mm -hmm. burgers and things like that. Yeah, and salads and, yep. and whatnot. Um, the burgers were pretty good actually. Yep. And for Trattoria 30, their whole thing is they're trying to get you in and out of the restaurant in 30 minutes so you can get back to the pool and back to enjoying your day. And for dinner, it's an antipasti buffet. Yep. So like grilled vegetables and soups and salads and right. meats and cheeses, that kind of thing. And then you order your entrees and desserts off of a regular sit down menu. Right. So their signature dish was the chicken parm, which we had. We also enjoyed the fettuccine alfredo, and of course for dessert, tiramisu. Next up we have The Strand, which is a seafood house actually right on the beach, yeah. which is really nice. It is open for lunch and for dinner, casual attire, no reservations required. We did not get to try dinner at The Strand, but we did have lunch. It was a very resort friendly lunch with mm -hmm. uh, chicken sandwiches, fish sandwiches, burgers, like you know, yeah. fries. So. Yeah, jerk chicken. Jerk chicken, which... You had. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was really good. And then for dinner, it's more of a traditional um, seafood restaurant. We did not mm -hmm. try that, but uh, obviously seafood dishes, they have a plant-based option there for those who, who might need that, but um, a good variety. Next up, we have Vincent, which is a European fusion restaurant, like Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah. Like that was like the inspiration, as you can tell from the decor in the restaurant. It is um, open for dinner only, and this is an evening attire dress, so similar to Butch's with the long pants and the closed-toed shoes, and reservations are required, so get those booked early. We did not have a chance to eat at this restaurant. It is like my one regret, yeah, I believe. It, it was a quick trip. It was yeah, only... we were only there four nights, yeah. so you know we couldn't eat at all the restaurants, right. but... I've seen a lot of photos on the Facebook groups that we're in. The dessert looks incredible there, um, and people rave about it. So definitely, if you like more of a fancier cuisine, definitely check out Vincent. And the last of the eight restaurants is Zuka. And we did eat at this restaurant. It is open for dinner only. Yep. It um, is resort casual. No reservations are required for this restaurant, but it is beautiful in there. It's, it's really well designed. Stunning. Yeah. It was like a jungle in there. We had a wonderful meal. Yeah. We started with pork taquitos. We had a yellowfin tuna tostada, Cuban style chicken soup. These are just the appetizers. Yeah. And then for dinner, we had a pan seared snapper filet. We had pan roasted chicken supreme, and we got our dessert, our tray leches to go, and that was really good. We just had it back at the room. So that was the eight formal restaurants at Sandals Royal Curacao. You also have three food trucks, which is a relatively new concept for them, mm -hmm. and it seems to be very well received by the guests. The first food truck is Toteki, which is traditional Curacao fare. You also have La Palma, which is Spanish tapas, and Kishi, which is Asian fusion. Don't make our mistake if you were to go to these food <laughs> trucks. Um, we thought it's just you walk up and, and you're served through the window. It is actually, there is a server there. So right. uh, find a table, sit down, they'll bring you your menus and serve you your drinks. Mm -hmm. Then they'll actually go to each of the individual trucks and bring you your dishes to your, to right. your table. Right, so you know, no need to get up or do anything. Right. It's still, you know, full service. Yeah. We ordered from two of the three food trucks yep. while we were there. From Kishi, we had chicken teriyaki bao buns and the general so's bao buns and then from toteki i had a fish sandwich and andy had the char grilled uh, strip loin steak all very good loved the food truck concept i hope they bring it to more of the sandals resorts um the only complaint i had about this was the lack of shade so you're you're pretty much apart from couple of tables, you are in pure sun so when you go for lunch yeah you're really in the thick of the the hot curse of sun. <laughs> yeah. Another food option is of course room service. Everybody loves to splurge on room service yep. when you're on a nice vacation. The thing to keep in mind about sandals is if you are staying in a luxury level room, which is kind of their like baseline room category, you do not have access to room service. You only do if you are staying in club level 
or in butler level. If you're in a club level room, you have room service available to you from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And if you're in a butler level room, you have 24 seven room service, which is very nice. If you were to order room service for breakfast, Again, traditional breakfast that you're gonna find, your eggs, I actually had a really uh, pretty decent um, bowl uh, dish with potatoes and eggs and peppers mm -hmm. and stuff, that was really good. Yeah. And then we ordered uh, room service a little bit later in the day. On one day of our trip, uh, we got a couple snacks because we had a later dinner reservation, so we ordered some mac and cheese and nachos, so. Super healthy. Yeah. <laughs> While we enjoyed the swim out pool. Yes. <laughs> which is pretty nice. Popped open some wine yeah. from the fridge and yeah. had some nachos. It was great. Another unique offering at Sandals Royal Curacao is the island exclusive dining. If you're staying at least seven nights in a butler level room, you'll actually get a $250 credit that you can use at a selection of local restaurants. It's a really unique perk to be able to leave the resort, try something new and you know, eat how the locals eat, which is great. So last but not least, this is not exactly food related, but there are 13 bars at Sandals Royal Curacao. Everywhere on property, you have a great pool bar. There are bars in most of the restaurants. So no shortage of places to get alcohol, obviously at an all-inclusive resort. And they actually have a really nice bar in the main lobby too. That, that was a nice kind of mm -hmm. hangout spot before an excursion. Yep. At night, uh, they had a, a piano player there and some other forms of entertainment. So very nice um, venue to kind of hang out and look out straight to the pool and the ocean. So that is everything food and beverage related <laughs> at Sandals Royal Curacao. We had a great vacation there. And if you have any questions about the resort as a whole or dining in particular, let us know in the comments. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.